lovers and friends, so I'm back and I wanted to tell you all the story of how I effed up this wig. You may have remembered it. I pulled it out of like a couple of years ago when I first really tr tried to make these frontal wigs myself. This was a pre plug frontal from AliExpress. Um, and I put together and sold this wig. And it, it was just full of mistakes, but I was trying to preserve it. And I figured that I would try to like add some color so it wouldn't just be a plain, regular, ogly, dokely, you know, Indian hair type of wig. So what I did here is clip up a few layers because I wanted to be extremely, extremely neat on this color as I'm lifting the hair um, on here. Just some real good hair. Look at that. And then I want to take my time. I'm going to mix these to lift it. Now I'm just waiting um, for the closure to kind of turn. So here's things kind of where they went wrong a bit. Run coloring hair it is like super easy but one of the things is that I really struggle with is timing and I don't set timers I just kind of look at it but oftentimes like if you kind of look at it you don't let the hair process enough and so in this case that's what happened um, I did not let the hair process enough and I should have set a timer 20 30 minutes to check the hair Because I didn't set a timer, here's what happened. Um, I wanted to lift the hair again because when I did lift it, yes, you can see it came out kind of like a charcoal brown and not quite the blonde that I wanted it to. So in the process of lifting it again, this time um, I used foil to speed it up and I double processed this hair. This is also where things really went wrong. So eventually um, it did live to a golden blonde that I wanted with the dark roots. So that was two processes to get that color. And then next up, I'm going to show you what I was trying to do. Here I go coloring this hair. Um, it's a combination of two colors. Um, this one radiant copper and this berry burgundy and I saw like a few videos and this color I thought was like lit and good for someone with my skin tone and we had this you know raggedy daggedy wheel here that we've been lifting or, or trying to lift um, it did way better the second time than the first time um, and hopefully this will be a look So I saw a few different YouTubers put together this color combination and I fell in love with it and thought it would just be so cute for the summertime and I wanted to rework this lace frontal wig. Um, as I shared, I've had it for a while but it was a little bit off from when I originally pre-plucked it and you should check out that video on my lace frontals do's and don'ts. So I love this color, but this was also now the third time I processed this hair. And I noticed that the hair was getting a little weak um, in retrospect, um, but I didn't think anything of it. Okay, she's all done. And I'm actually surprised. Um, I thought I was going to need six boxes, but 
um, two of each work perfectly so I have some extra left and I'm just gonna let this chill for like ooh, um, maybe two or three hours or maybe uh, it depends I'm gonna say two or three hours or at least maybe overnight I don't know <laughs> we shall see Time to clean up, though. I've been letting this joint deep condition for like a week. I'm really being lazy. I'm gonna rinse this out tonight and let it air dry. I am kind of thinking the color didn't come out as rich. I mean, I haven't washed it out yet, but maybe I lifted it too much, but the color didn't come out as rich and ruby, orangey like I thought. It looks a lot like it's gonna be ginger. That's cool too, I'm gonna rock it. <laughs> I do think the color is going to be cute, but um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more burgundy. Um, but it's looking like it's coming out more gingery. So we'll see the final result. Um, like I said, I've been letting this thing deep condition for like all week just because I'm lazy. I'm going to get that done today as well. I'm so sad. After a week and a half of deep conditioning and bleaching this joint twice the color did not take at all um to this thing and i was kind of looking at it when i took it out and i just was having hope but it did not at all and this is i don't know what it is i don't know if it's maybe i lifted it too much and the cuticles are damaged or what <sighs> i was so looking forward to this color for the summer but I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna do some research tonight but hey this is my channel Abena tries beauty I tried it and it did not work out um, I'm looking right now to figure out why didn't the color take <laughs> hey there lovers and friends um <laughs> yeah your girl messed up another wig so um this wig <laughs> is an old wig that um i made and i noticed how great the hair was i got the hair from aliexpress and it was my second attempt with the pre-plucked um frontal so um this is a lace frontal wig that i made myself and it was um natural hair color and of course i wanted to do something different and to revive this wig and um, I actually ended up lifting it, lifting it twice. And um, as you will see, I'll point another video. Like it did, it stopped taking color. And here's the two colors I was really trying to mix up and do. I saw it on someone's channel. I'll link it below. It did not work out. So I was trying to figure out the best way to revive this. And look how bad, like the hair just was just shedding after I rinsed out the color so badly. So I came across this colorful neutral protein filler. And um, I am testing it out now. So um, we're going to see how that and if that works. What I just did is brush through the hair. Um, mixing about one, one and a half ounces of the protein filler in water to get it on the hair. And I'm going to let it sit for about 30 minutes before applying um, the color again. And apparently this is kind of um, a secret sauce. But the maybe the uh, budget version. If y'all follow my girl Peak Mill who has been, um, I've been following her for like years. She really makes me um, try different things. <laughs> I don't have her skill set so don't come here for that but she uses olaplex and i was always like what the hell does that do whenever she's coloring hair or bleaching hair and this apparently is similar to olaplex but a whole lot cheaper i hope so i don't know how this video is going to come out i've never done this before so again this is my channel abena tries beauty i'm trying this to see if i can get this revive this wig and get it back popping so stay tuned. Hey loves, here comes the moment of truth. I mixed up all of the colors. Um, this one I'm like finding pretty interesting. It is it is the same color, but I put the color booster in there. And so it's kind of different. Um we'll see um from that perspective. And I'm about to go in 
I think I'm going to drop a tablespoon of the Neutron Protein Filler in. Put just about a cap full in there. And then I'm about to get to mixing these colors. Finish, and I have a lot left. And I don't know, it started to kind of like cream up as I was putting it on. And I'm not sure if it was the um, protein filler. Um, but I do see kind of turning colors, but it became really creamy on here. And I have a lot left um, as well. Whenever I have a lot left, I just find like random pieces. <laughs> of like leftover hair and color that too just in case I need something to fill so that's what I did and I still had a ton left um I really really hope it works um I did see the girl said she left it on she didn't lift hers though but I'm gonna leave this on for majority of the day um I don't think it will over process with the the, the protein filler and I do see some Positive it this looks like the color is turning and soaking in so I'm just gonna let this rock <laughs> And go from there. Oh, no, got some color on the Let me see if I can get that off the closure off the uh, frontal so it doesn't leave a stain So I've, <laughs> I've been officially letting this hair take since um, About one o'clock yesterday. It is about 8 a.m. So over 12 hours 16 hours and I really think the color took it looks good too if this is how vibrant it comes out let me show you my, whatever I had I had a lot left over um, the part that I lifted looks like it took too so I hope this color is cute I'm about to rinse it out and get the deep conditioning going I rinsed it out and in my opinion it looks it looks a ton better. I do think it took the color um, as it definitely looks like it took the color. Some spots I did miss, I guess, and still look a little bit blondy. But I think for the most part that um, that protein filler may have worked. What I'm doing right now, I, I, um, I think I recommend section by section. And I am going through to deep condition and I'm probably going to deep condition for three days. I did get some more shedding, unfortunately, but hey, uh, don't do what I do and over bleach the hair. I think when you over bleach the hair, it weakens the weft and tremendously. And um, that's probably what's going on here. So I'm just using the conditioners that came with it and i will probably leave this joint condition for majority of this week and maybe rinse it out next week thursday or friday i think i might have been too hopeful some pieces look like they didn't really take the color <laughs> as i was going through with the conditioner and sometimes it does um so we'll just see it does look like it took the color or at least maybe the brassiness out I hope this is not all lost, but I did get a lot, a lot of shedding. So I guys want to show you, this is like when I was combing it out and this is combing it out with the color, and, but I like had two loose tracks that I also had colored that I probably sew in to add to the thickness of the wig if it comes together. Um, yeah, so like some places just look real crazy light. I don't know if it's the lighting or what. So yeah, we're going to bag her and let her rock because she's been through a lot. Okay, um, so she colored. She colored. And so that protein filler, I recommend it if you fuck up some hair. But guys, you see my shirt? I had so much hair come out the second time I washed it and conditioned it. And now, like, this all over my shirt. And I don't know if she's worth it or if I should just trash her. The color is a little bit wild. Looks way orange. Um, 
It was a pretty good frontal though. But I think I fucked her all up. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to try to salvage her. Um, This shedding is like, this is shedding. That, that, that shit, this is legit shedding. Now we know. This is set. This sets the bar for shedding. And let me just show you how much hair came out. <laughs> Washing it. And it's orange. It's orange, but I feel like it looks a lot brighter on camera. Mm. I think I'm going to let this go. <laughs>